guys so today I'll be doing a tutorial on this is it Halloween look right here honestly I don't know how we ended up here um, but we ended up here so it basically all started with these right here these are the face lace by Phyllis Cohen and these are what they call holographic stickers holographic makeup stickers so these are for decoration I also have a sheet here for holographic liner but listen if there's one thing simply neological taught us this is not hollow. <laughs> this right here is iridescent unicorn poop. So these stickers right here initially inspired me to do a holographic iridescent unicorn fairy look and then the stars happened and then the wig happened and I don't know how we ended up here but <laughs> we are here. Without any further ado let's go right on to this tutorial and let's paint and have some fun sit back and enjoy the, the unicorn poop, it's so precious and pretty. To start off this look, I'm gonna be taking this warm tone purple mixed in with the cool tone purple right next to it. And I'll be focusing this definition on the outer parts of my eye and also dragging it into the crease. Now for definition on the inner part of my crease, I'm gonna go in with this oldish pinkish color here. And on a Bedellium Tools 776 brush, I'm just defining it slightly. Now, as you can see, the edges are a total mess. We cannot live with this, let's fix it. I'm going in with a clean blending brush and just wiggling my brush right at the edge where the eyeshadow stops. And just like magic, it will smooth it out. All right, cleaning that edge up using a little bit of concealer. I feel like once you have cleaned up that side, it really shows you where you still need a little bit of blending. For me, that's right there. Time for one of my favorite things to do when doing my makeup, cutting the lid using Select Cover Up Concealer by MAC. And like with most of my looks, I go a little above my natural crease to show the look even when I look straightforward with my hooded eyes. and setting that lit using Faso from the Juvia's Place Magic Palette. Smudging some of that purple closer to my lash line. For the lower lash line, I'm going back in with those same vibrant purples, and from outer to inner corner, we're just gonna smoke it out. And now darkening the outer third of both my top and lower lid with some black. I'm quickly gonna curl my lashes and put some mascara on and some falsies, and then we'll have fun. And the falsies I'm using today are by Anitude, and they are called Fairy. All right, lashes on. Now this is where the trouble starts. Now here are they, what they call holographic stickers. They're more like an iridescent unicorn bar, but like, okay, never mind. And my number one problem with these is that these are so sticky that they will not get off your tweezers. So I experimented a little bit on the other eye and what works best is putting down a little bit of lash glue first so it actually has something to stick onto to kind of grab it from the tweezer and that way it will stick on. But take your time for this, it's hard. So I'm gonna be starting off with this one in the center for my inner corner. Go, 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 oh see? Oh my god, six. 
I feel like the inner corner one makes such a statement where a simple brown smoky eye and pop this on that inner corner and kabam, you steal the show. All right, the longer one is going in my crease. Oh, please stick, please stick. Oh God. Please stick, please stick. Come on, come on, stay. Stay, oh you mother. All right, so it is definitely a struggle to get these on, but baby, once they're on, holy crap. All right, time for the face. I know this is a really boring step, but a necessary step, bronzer. And we're gonna be creating like this mystical, mythical, mystical, I don't know, this fairy-like haze with like glow and blush, but first, bronzer. For blush, I'm now gonna go in with the Anastasia Blush Trio in Pink Passion and just mixing the colors and kind of like a haze around the eyes. I'm gonna add some pink. All right, so now that it is kind of like a haze around the eyes, it's time to glow. So I'm gonna go in with the Kat Von D Alchemist um, Holographic Highlighter Palette. And I'll be going in with this color first, which is called Pink Opal. All right, so we've got these really unicorny, fairy cheeks going on. So let's focus on the lips and wrap this look up because it's five in the morning. I'll be going in with this Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the, oh God. Muñeca, 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 muñeca. And going over top with some of these duochromy shadows. Okay, I honestly don't know where I'm going with this look right now, but it feels kind of good, so I just can't stop. I think I'm done. And that guys concludes this, I don't even know what to call this fairy, unicorn, oil slick, holographic liner look. What I do know is that it is now 4.43 in the morning. I am really tired, but I had so much fun. This is what I love about makeup. You can forget about the hours and just, paint the night away. So for a full list of every single product mentioned and used, go to my description box below or nakedtutorials.com. As always, if you enjoyed watching this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to get a notification every time I upload. I wanna thank you so, so, so much for watching. It truly means the world. And hopefully I will see you on the next one. Bye.